So we just head into this property, which is a great one to talk about because it's actually the first one I purchased in the very first lockdown. It was April 2020, you'll all remember it well. Everyone was going crazy for toilet roll. Nobody was buying property. The market had completely been brought to his knees. The market had frozen. The first time I'd ever witnessed it. Now I knew that we were in for a bumpy ride, but I also knew it wasn't going to last forever. The doomsday showers were obviously saying that things were gonna be terrible and turmoil for years to come. But to be honest with you, I didn't think it was gonna happen. So I knew that when the masses are not buying, you do the opposite. So this property went to auction. The auction had pretty much ground to a hole. I don't even know why they went ahead with it. Now these were worth 160 to 180 on the open market at the time, and it was guided at 150. And I said, look, I'll buy it pre-auction for 115,000. And they said, no. I said, okay, I'll give you 120. They said, no. So I registered to bid. Now, this was singly the best deal I got in that first lockdown because it didn't sell at auction and I didn't bid. And after the auction, I did a deal with the auctioneer for 117,000. Now, just put this into perspective. It's a three bed ex-local authority semi for 117,000. You couldn't even get a flat for that now. After 25 grand, not even that, I've turned it into a four bedroom, two bathroom student house, which, yeah, okay, it's a little bit further out, takes a little bit longer to rent, but I get on average 2,200 per calendar month, no bills included, but here's the beauty. It's been revalued at 250,000. So I doubled my money completely by buying this property in that first lockdown when everyone else was too scared.